both the 2009 entrants in Feast or Fired have experience in this kind of a match. Actually, only three out of the 12 men who entered, both Jay Lethal on the left, Consequences Creed on the right, they competed last year in Feast or Fire, and it was Jay Lethal, he won a case, that ended up having a world tag team title shot. Well, I would assume that Lethal Consequences here as a team would hope for the same thing. Just this, this, this whole concept of this type of match, in my view, is just scary. Your whole career is on the line if you grab the wrong case. Competitor number three, Cody Deaner to join Feast or Fire right off the bat. I've got to get your thoughts on this. You think this one through a little bit. Would you put yourself, Taz, when you were a wrestler, in this position to be in Feast or Fire? Does that hurt your pen? I don't think so. It'd be impossible, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be impossible. Uh, like I said earlier, Mike, no, I would not. I would not put myself in a position for my career to end in one match. I wouldn't. I would not. There is quite a bit of upside. I know. I mean, if you're a gambling man, three <laughs> out of the four cases have title shots. No, I understand that, and I realize how few and far between title shots come. The next participant is Robert Roode and Cowboy James Storm. Here, Money Incorporated. We've already covered this tonight, but it bears repeating. The TNA World Tag Team Champions, the British Invasion. To this point, they have successfully been able to ice out Beer Money Incorporated when it comes to a future TNA World Tag Team title shot. But this could be the opportunity for Storm and Rude to get that championship match. Absolutely. If, 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 if Storm and Rude, Beer Money grabs the right case. of stacking the deck. Oh, absolutely. I think that's the best. Oh, Do you know what uh, Eric Young, the leader of, of World Elite, certainly the rumor that was flying around today? Oh, in oh, terms of... I was distracted I, by I, I know you were. New friend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Eric Young instructed his team from what we heard. Basically, don't go in near any cases. Right or wrong. Uh, you heard the same little story that I heard. Told everybody in World Elite, do what you can, I think, to prevent wow. Beer Money Incorporated from taking down a title. Infatuated. when it comes to the rules. Take down that case. The second that you gain possession of the case, you own it, it is yours. 
See right here, beer money, smart by James Storm, trying to eliminate the largest member of World Elite in Kevin Nash. Obviously, come on, I mean, you, you hit on it, Mike, during the World Elite's entrance. I mean, the numbers game here. It, 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 half of this whole deal here, six, six members of the World Elite, all of the World Elite, is here except the British Invasion. There's one of the World Elite members, Big Rob, squaring off with Robert Roode well, outside. Look, Jay Lethal, Jay Lethal climbing up and had his hands on the case, but Kiyoshi pulled him down. Homicide. See, so you see Homicide rearranging yeah. the facial features there of Consequences Creed. And basically, there's more or less, like, no rules here. Close-up look there at Homicide, most experienced competitor in Feast or Fire. Homicide, the only man to be in Feast or Fire in all three years. In 2008, he captured a case that ended up having an X Division championship shot. Yeah. Well, former yeah. X Division champion yeah. is Homicide. Look at Cody Dina. Could you imagine Cody Dina, Cody Dina getting an opportunity at the X Division title, or maybe the World Heavyweight title, or getting fired? Sheik Abdul Bashir of World Elite cuts off Dina. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait. I, I thought I thought the rumor yeah, that we Eric had heard Young. was that Eric Young told World Elite do not go for the case, but oh, I guess maybe that rumor was unfounded as the Sheik climbs right up, tries to take down one of the cases, and you see the Deaners right on it. I guess Bashir's not part of that whole teamwork deal. More selfish than anything, I would assume. Is that what you think? Maybe going into business for himself? I think so. Homicide making fans look and friends. Cody Dina, look here at in Dina Orlando. Here. Diener up. Diener so close to taking down the case. But again, it's the Sheik who cuts him off. And uh, the Diener, you know, Cody Diener's a guy who's kind of been off the radar in TNA, to be quite frank here, in, in, in quite, quite the last few weeks. So could you imagine him being on a title picture scene? Yeah, you talk about immediately getting back on the radar. That's what that would do as he gets sent back first into the corner by the Sheik. Kiyoshi, Samoa Joe, as well as Homicide and Creed battling outside. Again, you know, someone's career is going to come to an end tonight. Nope. Three men's dreams, more or less, I would say, are going to come through. You know, you're going to get an opportunity at titles. And again, look at this. Just Again, Bashir, he's going again for this case. <laughs> and Diener's got him hooked right around the ankle, right around the leg. And now he's got him up on his shoulders, Sheik up on Diener's shoulders, and... Oh, Sheik able to rake the eyes to take Diener down. That's all it took to stop Cody Diener. That's enough to stop somebody. And I think that's smart. You try and clear the ring out and then climb up and hope you, gra hope you grab the right case. Well, of course, you can get a, a, a title shot in terms of taking down the case. You don't know what <laughs> title you're necessarily going to get. I remember in 07, Scott Steiner, Big Papa Pump, he got an X Division championship shot at Feaster Fired. It looked like Homicide was going for a cutter, and oh! How quick was that tilt-a-whirl by Lethal on Homicide? And again, good show of uh, some teamwork yeah. by Lethal Consequences. Follow-up leg sweep, and you talk about a numbers game, and you immediately think about the edge that World Elite has with six of the 12. But keep in mind, this teamwork whoa, whoa. for the, the tag team of Lethal Consequences is big. Yeah, Jay Lethal was watching, watching his back, watching his partner's back, watching Creed's back, and look at Bashir! Trying to stop. I don't know. I, I was trying to tell if Creed got that, that case loose, but I don't think he did. He was close, right on the verge. Bashir cuts him off. Headbutts up on the top rope. Oh, God. There goes Creed right into that steel pipe. And look at Bashir. I think Bashir. Yeah, back at it again. Ah, I thought he was going to get that case, but again, Dean, Cody Diener trying to stop him. Well, the, the Sheik either didn't get well, 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 close. The case is taken down. Well, whose is it? Well, Bashir's, Bashir's got it, and so does Diener. Oh, and it just fell to the floor. Well, who, what, was it Diener's, or is it? It's, who, it's whoever gets possession of it. But you, it's like a fumble. Oh, like a tug of war. It's a like, a run, like, a like a rugby scrum here. Referee's right on the scene, Taz. Well, who? Well, they can't share it. Whoever gets full possession, and it's, oh! Bashir! Sheik Abdul Bashir has retrieved case number two. Well, you better hope it's the right one. And check check out Big, Big Rob. Rob. Big Rob! Big Rob has retrieved case number four. Oh, 
Could you imagine him yeah. as the X Division champion? And, and look at it. Look at the reaction of Eric Young again. What we talked about earlier, talking about World Elite not taking down one of the cases, and the the leader of the faction is PO'd. I, it looks like Kevin Nash doesn't doesn't seem to be too happy neither with Big Rob. Big Rob kind of went off the game plan, as did Bashir. And Eric Young. Oh, look at Storm, look at Storm here. Storm slides in, tosses Kiyoshi out. And now it's on. Here comes Beer Money. Storm and Rude. Nash and Young. Here Whoa. goes EY for a ride. Oh, man. And Beer Money. Beer Money can't, they couldn't get a, a tag team title opportunity for anything. So this match is perfect for them, hopefully, if they can get a case. And it's the right one. Rude snaps the neck of the seven-footer. Big sexy Kevin Nash. And now Beer Money gonna go double team on the World Elite Boss. Eric Young, oh, God. Loads of velocity in that double vertical suplex. Loads of velocity with the suplex, loads of volume with the reaction from the crowd to beer money. Look at that. Oh, whoa. God, that spinning Yuranagi. Kiyoshi got drilled. Oof. Homicide gets caught by Rude coming off the top. Catapults him into a DDT from Storm. Wow. Homicide right on the top of his bean. There's two, two cases left. Two to go. Rude's got a case in his sights. Headed up the corner. Watch out for Kevin Nash coming from behind. Oh! Kevin Nash, big sexy. Look at this, timing's everything, and Nash just proved it. And Kevin Nash? Wait, Kevin, wait. Kevin Nash has retrieved case number one. I think Eric Young approves of that? Uh, Maybe they called an audible during that meeting. Could be. I can't envision Eric Young, you know, reading the riot act to Nash. <laughs> And now Samoa Joe, he's in there doing his thing. There's one case left. Well, much of this match, Samoa Joe has been battling outside of the ring on the arena floor. He's inside now, and he's squared off against both members of Lethal Consequences. Creed elevated up. Oh, and then Lethal elevated down. And oh, quickly Creed follows up. Off the top, drives Joe down to the mat then walks oh, right into God. a rude spine buster. Good Lord, that was a nasty spine buster. Look at Eric Young. There's the pile driver. Oh, man. Oh, Robert, Robert Rude. Oh! Nailed with that pile driver. Kiyoshi immediately in to take out the legs of Storm. How physical though has this match been, Mike? It is so physical because of what's at stake here. The potential for title shots, the potential to get fired in TNA is... And there goes Black Machismo. I think he's gonna get that last case, he's, Mike. He's been there before. We talked about it earlier. Well, homicide. Well, so has Homicide. He even has more experience than Black Machismo. Homicide maybe going for a belly-to-belly -belly suplex off there. It looks like he's biting. Homicide biting lethal. He was. Oh! Oh, man, what a cutter. Cutter from the top. You see Homicide feeling the effects of it as well. Look at Cody Diener. Can Cody Diener pick up the scraps left behind and get that last case? Diener's got it in his sights. Well, Diener having a hard time climbing. Got his hand on the case. Oh, Samoa Joe Oof. with the big kick. Takes Diener out. Joe's Joe got it. it. Joe's got it. Samoa Joe has retrieved the final case. Case number three. This game of Russian roulette just ended, Mike. Now, who got what? We're halfway home in terms of feast or fire. We know who it is that has possession of the cases. Now it's time to find out what's inside those cases. We're gonna send it down to the ringside area. Our broadcast colleague, Jeremy Borash.
Take it, JB. All right, there you see Samoa Joe, the recipient of the last case. Four cases have been distributed, three with title shots, one with a pink slip, and we are about to find out who will go on to get a shot at any one of three titles here in TNA, and we are also about to find out who is going to be fired. It happens right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready. We do know there are four cases. Each of them contains something different. Tonight, a World Tag Team title shot will be awarded, an X Division title shot be, will be awarded, a World Heavyweight Championship title shot will be awarded, and somebody tonight will be fired. Val? That's right, four lives are about to change tonight. Of course, three for the better, one not so much. Kevin Nash, would you step forward, please? Kevin Nash, you have been with TNA Wrestling for quite some time, a decorated career, and obviously a lot at stake with what we are about to reveal. An X Division title shot, a tag team title shot, a world heavyweight title shot, or come January 4th when Hulk Hogan arrives, you could be watching that show from the comfort of your home in Daytona Beach. Kevin Nash, let's find out your future here in TNA Wrestling. Your job is safe. You have received a World Tag Team title shot. Oh, Nash dodged a bullet. Congratulations to you. Val will escort you right out here. I'm sure a celebration is in order there for Kevin Nash here tonight. Samoa Joe, you are next, my friend. Certainly we know what happened with your match, Daniels and AJ Styles. At Turning Point now tonight, you find yourself in an opportunity where you could end up with an X Division title shot, a tag team title shot, that world heavyweight title shot, of course, with the tag team title shot already gone, that means there's only two opportunities at gold, world and X. Or, of course, you could find that you're at the end of the road here in TNA Wrestling. Samoa Joe, here is the moment of truth. Please open up your briefcase. Samoa Joe, the recipient of a World Heavyweight title shot. Wow. Feast for fire pays off for Joe. Oh, man. I told you. Rob Terry, Sheikh Abdul Bashir, please step forward, gentlemen. Due to the fact one of you has the X Division title shot, one of you has the pink slip, we're going to open up these briefcases simultaneously. Gentlemen, before we do this, I want to remind you both that although this is the end of your TNA career, one of you tonight will leave with a pink slip. However, one of you will leave with an X Division title shot. It's feast or fired. Sheikh Abdul Bashir, are you ready? Mr. Rob Terry, are you ready? TNA fans, are you ready? Good luck to both of you. Now, let's find out who has an X Division title shot and who will be fired. Gentlemen, open up the cases. Congratulations, Rob Terry. You are the recipient of an X Division title shot. Sheikh Abdul Bashir, you earned a spot on the roster. And unfortunately tonight, that spot has been taken away from you. Sheikh Abdul Bashir, best of luck to you in your future endeavors.